Well, still to come between now and seven. It was just too dodgy to carry on. Why Hackney market traders have been told no more. But we're moving on now. It's long been a haven for the sale of counterfeit goods and even more dangerous items. Now the market at Hackney Wick is finally closing following a BBC investigation by our Inside Out team. Sumit Bose has more. Thousands visit Hackney Wick market every Sunday. Yesterday was no different. Traffic jammed the surrounding streets as the 500 or more stalls did brisk business. There are plenty of bargains to be had and some of the stalls clearly sell goods where no questions need be asked. <laughs> this undercover footage shows how the markets become a haven for the sale of counterfeit and dangerous goods. Pirated DVDs, copied software and fake designer gear are all openly on sale. It's not just DVD, it's software, clothing, music. It really is a lawless environment, almost a wild west situation of, uh, of counterfeiting. On a Sunday it takes you two hours to walk around it. So many stalls here. It's just an uh, absolute cordon of criminality. You wouldn't believe that places like this existed in Britain, really. The stallholders make vast sums of money, and the market's reputation is known to both trading standards and the police, who've mounted raids on it in the past. We're certainly aware of a number of counterfeit goods that, uh, that are traded on the, estate, on, the, on the market itself, but the, the simple fact is that it is not a governmental priority to deal with counterfeit goods. The market's operators have promised to evict any stallholders who are caught selling illegal or counterfeit goods, and they say they cooperate fully with the authorities. However, following an investigation by Inside Out, the market's new owners, the London Development Agency, have said they'll shut it down in July. And you can see more on that tonight on Inside Out. That's at 7.30 on BBC One, the full report on Hackney Week Market.